everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the Daily Love Readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into each zodiac sign's daily love energies for February 11th. There is a new moon in Aquarius tomorrow on February 11th, so I am going to be getting a moonology card out for each zodiac sign. We are going to focus on what this Aquarius new moon that is happening on February 11th is going to bring towards you in your love life. So keep in mind that each zodiac sign has their own reading. So in the description box below, you will find the timestamps to this video, as well as I will pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps too. Please do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs because not all messages will resonate with everyone out there. So please check out your other chart placements. So we do have this beautiful Aquarius new moon happening on February 11th. This daily will premiere the day before. So just telling y'all that. And this new moon is all about what have you thought, what have you dreamed of? in your life or in your love life, whatever aspect that you thought was way too far out there to happen for you. Aquarius energy is all about uniqueness, all about thinking outside of the box, all about, you know, killing the norm, right? Doing things your own way, being a rebel. So Aquarius energy is all about just doing what you please and not really caring what anybody has to say about it, right? So this energy is all about what new beginning do you want to spark within your life that you felt as though would never happen for you? Something that was so out of the box that there would no way this would come true. There's no way that I could manifest this. This is your new moon to work on that. Whatever you feel like you want to take as an idea to a dream to make your reality, this is the new moon for you. If you don't know how to manifest, go check out my manifestation series and I will teach you how to manifest on new moons and how to create the reality you desire. So we will get a romance angel card, a moonology card. So this is going to be like a regular daily reading, but we are also going to be focusing on specifically what this Aquarius new moon on February 11th is going to be bringing into your love life. So... That's the major focus here, but it still is a daily. So just keep in mind, time is fluid. And let's get into it and let's get started. On the first easel will be the zodiac sign we are reading for. Romance, angel, moonology easel. So let's get started. We're going to start off with Aries. Hello, my beautiful Aries. Let's get a moonology card for you for February 11th. Seeing what this new moon in Aquarius is going to bring my beautiful Aries. So Spirit for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. Can I please have a Romance Angel card for my beautiful Aries? Okay, Aries. You have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so this energy is all around trusting the process, having faith, and... Trusting in spirit as well as trusting in yourself, right? So let's see what is coming towards you in your love life, spirit, for my Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for February 11th. In their love lives for my beautiful Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. All right, Aries. Here we go. We have the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Okay, so there is a very big energy around choosing the new path away from fears, away from lies, away from deceitful energy. So if that had been happening in your love life, there is an ending to that. If there has been a lot of fears around being cheated on and lied to, or a lot of fears around deceptive energy or there could have actually been deceptive energy it looks like there's an end to that and there is an energy of you here aries choosing the new path making a choice to turn your back on this energy 
So you could be definitely cutting off somebody who has lied to you. For others of you, Aries, this could be totally vice versa. Keep that in mind. For others of you, I feel like Aries, you're choosing the new path away from fear. So if you haven't been lied to, cheated on, that has already happened. This looks like it has been already happened and ended or something ended because of this. But there's an energy of sit exactly trust. Trust the process. Trust in your future that you will reap rewards. For others of you, Aries, you have a very, very, very intense feeling that you are going to be lied to. For some of you, this is extremely, extremely in your fears, and you may be putting an end to that. There is an end to deceptive energy, or there's an end to fearing deceptive energy. Choosing the new path, spreading your wings into the future, and trusting in yourself. Trusting in the process of things, and trusting in this relationship or future relationships. Not letting this energy get to you anymore. Really turning your back on it and just saying so long. I do not want to deal with somebody who is deceptive or so long. I don't want to deal with constantly feeling fears. You know, you're, you're taking it within yourself to put an ending to these fears and these doubts. So let's get your Moonology card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with these swords here. Could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Two of Wands. But you're choosing the new path and you're trusting in spirit that they will bring you a whole new world of less lies, less deceit, or less fears around that. So let's get your Moonology card here, Aries. And we have... A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. All right, you may have a moon in Libra. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra or somebody who has Libra in their chart. But it's like no matter what route you go down, Aries, you will have a win. So if you're ending things with a liar, cheater, stealer, you're going to find victory. If you are ending your fears of lying, cheating, stealing, of somebody else doing that to you, you will have a victory. So nonetheless, Aries, whatever route you're going down, you will have victory. Spirit is going to make sure of it. Spirit is going to make sure things come back into balance for you. So that's what I have here for you, my beautiful Aries. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching and have a great day. And next up is Taurus. Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Let's get a Moonology card for Taurus for February 11th. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Taurus, for February 11th in their love lives. All right, Taurus, you have trust, just like Aries. This situation is calling for you to have faith, all right? So trusting in the process of things, having faith in yourself, having faith in spirit. So let's see what is going on for my Tauruses with the tarot. For some of you, you don't, you lack faith, for some of you. And spirit is telling you to have faith in your love life. So let's see. What's coming through for February 11th? What's this new moon in Aquarius bringing towards my Tauruses in their love lives? Okay. Taurus, you have the Seven of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Knight of Wands. <laughs> All right. Well, there's an energy around you waiting. Taurus, you're waiting for somebody. You may be waiting for a past person to return. And here they come. Knight of Wands. So you definitely have a return of a very passionate person. But I feel like some of you Tauruses, you're kind of in this process of looking at all of the effort you put into this person and seeing if it was really worth it. Because this person is coming back around. So with the Knight of Wands, this person can be very flighty. So you may have been waiting for a very in and out energy to come back around into your life. 
and here they come they are going to be returning back into your energy here for some of you Tauruses this doesn't have to be a return of the past you could have just been waiting for spirit to bring you somebody and here they come knight of wands could be a fire sign they are passionate they are charming and they are interested in pursuing you so whatever you've been waiting for is definitely coming i definitely feel like a lot of you Tauruses have been waiting for an energy from your past to return here they are how long they will stay eh. you don't really know there with that knight of wands very flighty energy for others of you Tauruses you could have just been waiting for somebody in general to come your way and here they come so could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be dealing with an Aquarius a Taurus like I said a Scorpio a Leo but you definitely have somebody wanting to pursue you here Taurus could be somebody who's very in and out, but they still have passion for you. They haven't given up their in and out energy. And for others of you Tauruses, it's just, just somebody here interested in you coming your way. And you may have been waiting for somebody to be interested in you in quite some time. So let's get your Moonology card here, Taurus. For February 11th. Thank you, Spirit. Taurus, you have, ooh, there it is, expect powerful change, a new moon eclipse. We are having a new moon. It's not an eclipse, but still not far off there. So, like I said, what you've been waiting for is coming. Judgment day is here, and Spirit is saying, here they come. You've been waiting. Nothing has been changing, and now here comes the change. So, this new moon is absolutely bringing in that change. So thank you, Taurus, for being here and for watching. And I'll see y'all very, very soon. And next up is my Geminis. Hello, Gemini. Let's get your romance angel out for February 11th. See what this new moon in Aquarius is bringing towards my Geminis. Spirit, can I please have one romance angels card for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for February 11th. Oh, right. All right, Gemini, we have soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. So connecting with somebody who is a soulmate energy of yours. I do feel personally that we have multiple soulmates. So if y'all are not new to my channel, I do not um, really like those little sentences at the bottom. Some of them are okay. Some of them are way too far off. But definitely dealing with a soulmate energy. So let's see, Gemini. Or somebody that you believe is your soulmate as well. But Spirit is definitely coming through saying they are a soulmate of yours. So let's see for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for February 11th in their love lives. Okay, Gemini, let's see what's coming towards you. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Okay, Gemini, you may have walked away from somebody recently. Somebody could have walked away from you. There's an energy of really like a standoff here with this Nine of Wands. I feel like whoever walked away from you or whoever you walked away from, there's still passion here with this Knight of Wands. There is still some sort of energy of somebody still feeling attracted towards you here. So, Gemini, no matter who did the walking away, somebody still feels attracted towards you. You still feel attracted towards them. But there's a really big energy of blocking each other out. For some of you Geminis, there could be somebody who has walked away from you. This person could have player tendencies. And they may be coming back around and you may be kind of blocking them out here. You may have actually blocked them or they may have blocked you. They're doing the unblock and they're coming around your way. And you may just be a little bit at a standoff here. Like, I don't really know. What I want to do, I don't really know if I want to let this person back in, but there's definitely a very big energy about they're kind of being an energy of moving on, but somebody can't move on. Somebody's having difficulty moving on. So whether it be you or them, keep in mind this can go totally backwards. Somebody's having a hard time moving away from this relationship. They, they still want to pursue this here. But it looks like somebody's at a standoff here. Somebody's kind of like, well, I don't really know if I want to still pursue this with you because you walked away from me. 
interesting. So, could definitely be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but there is a very, very large energy around. Possibly, I want to say this, some of you Geminis, you may have walked away from somebody to regain your freedom. You may wanted to, you may have wanted to get back out there, you know, maybe where you were wasn't for you anymore. For others of you, this could be this person, but I definitely, I still, there's still attraction here. Somebody still is interested in this connection though. Interesting. Let's get your Moonology cards here, Gemini. Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for February 11th in their love lives. We have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, there may be a Pisces involved. You could have Pisces in your chart. They could have Pisces in their chart. Maybe they're a Pisces. Whatever the case may be, with this Pisces energy coming through, balance, spirituality, and practicality is all about balancing your ideas and what you can really make happen for you, right? So a lot of the times, Pisces gets lost in dreamland. So what do you feel like is a fantasy? And what do you feel like you can actually make real? That is the question for you, Gemini. Are you living in fantasy land? Is this person living in fantasy land that they could just come back around whenever they decide to? There is some sort of energy around balancing fantasy, daydreaming, and actually practicality of what's happening, what could happen in reality. Pisces is all about that because Pisces goes back and forth about, you know, is this just my fantasy or can this actually happen? That's what the energy is. So that's what I have here for you, Gemini. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Cancer. Hello, Cancer. Let's get your moon, I'm um, not sorry, your Romance Angels card first to see what energy is coming through for February 11th. What is this new moon in Aquarius bringing my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, Spirit for Cancer, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, you have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, so... Bringing back that more playful energy, letting your inner child shine, you know, joking around with each other, being very lighthearted. So let's see what is coming through for you, Spirit. What is coming through for my Cancers for February 11th in their love lives? I do not take flyers, Cancer. What is coming through for Cancer for February 11th? Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so Cancer, you may be connecting some with somebody who's very focused on work, friends, family, and all of that other stuff. For some of you Cancers, you actually may be married to this person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Gemini. But there is an energy around reconciliation. So first story, Cancer, you can connect with somebody who's totally into work. And they don't look up from practical things. They focus work, family, friends, and love is on the back burner. This person, they're going to want to reconcile with you here with the lovers. They're going to want to bring back more playful energy into this relationship. Opposed to they're just like super focused on work for others of you cancers if you're married to this person or there is some sort of energy around a higher level of commitment i do feel like this person is it's very they're very hard to read cancer you may feel like they're very hard to read you don't know if they are interested one day and the next day they seem interested the next day they seem like they don't there will be a reconciliation of you two's playful energy. So if you've been dealing with cancer, even if you're married to somebody who's 
very practical, not emotional, not playful, not passionate. They may become more playful with you. They may let their inner youthful, fun part of themselves shine when they haven't in quite some time. But there is a reconciliation of your energies coming together. It doesn't mean that a reconciliation has to be from a past person. It could just be that your two energies has not come together in quite some time to create harmony. And that's going to be what's happening. For others of you Cancers, this is a random third story I feel. There may be some sort of choice to make with letting somebody in. You may have two people interested in you and you may have to make a decision. That's just for some of you. So let's get your Moonology card here. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 11th in their love lives. And we have, there we go, some Capricorn energy. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn energy could be involved somewhere. But there is an energy around somebody focused on work. And that may be very tough for Cancer specifically because you guys are a very loving energy. You know, you want somebody to be open and lovable, playful with you. And it's very hard when you're dealing with somebody who isn't like that. So you may be ending that tough cycle, reconciling with much lighter energy with this person. So I like this Cancer. Oh. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching and I'll see all my cancers very, very soon. And next is Leo. Hello, my Leos and welcome to your February 11th love tarot reading. Let's see what's coming through for my beautiful Leos for February 11th. What is this new moon in Aquarius bringing to my beautiful Leos? Spirit for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lies for Leo. All right, Leo, we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. All right, so my single Leos, you may have a lot of people interested in you. In relationship Leos, you two may be very lighthearted with each other, flirting, you know, being passionate, all that great stuff. So let's see, Leo, what the tarot has. Spirit for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for February 11th in their love lives. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. Hey, Leo. You have the Queen of Swords. The Five of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it does look like, Leo, you could be having an apology come through from somebody who wasted your time. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it looks like, Leo, somebody made you feel defeated. This could be somebody from your past who cut you off or you cut them off. They're coming back around to apologize. If you are in a relationship with somebody, there could have been conflict, drama, and there is apologies. There is, you know, compromise, all that other stuff. But there's definitely an energy around feeling defeated here, Leo. So you definitely have somebody coming your way. I feel like you're open to hearing this person out. I feel like they may have been selfish. They may be trying to make it up to you here with this page of pentacles. For others of you Leos, if you're single, single Leo, I feel like you've been feeling very defeated with love. You feel like you haven't been meeting anybody. Nobody's been coming your way. Everybody's been wasting your time. And here comes a page of pentacles, somebody with somewhat of a real offer, right? Somebody that has something stable to offer. They see potential in you. So could be an apology. Could be somebody coming back from your past to really mess things up. Or Leo, you could just be meeting a new person after a lot of failed attempts at love. So let's get your Moonology card out for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit for my beautiful Leos. For February 11th, in their love lives for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. All right, Leo, you have prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. All right, there could be some Taurus energy involved, your end, their end, 
whatever the case may be, but prosperity lies ahead. Abundance lies ahead. All that you have wished for lies ahead with this page of pentacles energy. You just must believe that you deserve it, Leo. So I do feel like somebody is absolutely coming towards you with lighthearted energy, either after an argument, after a conflict, after some sort of wasting time, selfish energy, or from your past. This could have been from a while ago, or this is a plain old new person. New moon in Taurus. This is an energy of feeling grounded and feeling like you know what you want and you're not going to settle for less type of thing. So that's what I got here for you, Leos. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. And next up is Virgo. Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Let's get your Moonology card. Spirit for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. For February 11th, in their love lives, can I please have for my beautiful Virgos? Okay, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. So expressing your true selves to each other, getting to know each other, having this energy of, you know, expressing your likes, your dislikes, all that other stuff. Could be dealing with a newer person or just a fresher connection. It could just be that you guys are a year in and still getting to know each other. It doesn't have to mean that this is new, new, new. For some of you, it could be a newer person. But let's get your tarot out for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Who's coming Virgo's way in their love lives? All right, Virgo, let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. All right, Virgo, somebody got it bad for you king of wands this person whoever you're connecting with here they want you to turn your back on the past and embrace them so king of wands somebody very fiery somebody very passionate here could be a leo could be an aries sagittarius they could have this in their chart but virgo things are changing for you in your love life wheel of fortune destiny changing the route of your love life you are anticipating a much brighter future ahead and i do feel like you have somebody very interested in you king of wands this person is very interested in nurturing this connection seeing where this relationship can go and they are feeling extremely attracted towards you this person may be very attractive as well they may look very appealing to you on the outside but they want you to get to know what's on the inside. So uh, with that energy coming through and this energy coming through, I feel like Virgo, this is not just a pretty face. This is not just a hot guy. This is not just a hot girl. This is somebody that they have depth to them. But Virgo, this person wants you to also be just as interested in as, as well. Because the King of Wands will not stay where he is not praised. So... This person also wants your give and take with them as well. But this is an energy of turning your back on the past and truly embracing what lies ahead. And this person wants you to do that. They are like, Virgo, I need you to fully focus on me. Let go of the past. I'm not going to do you like that. I'm not like the rest. All that other stuff. So let's get your Moonology card here. Strong fire sign energy, specifically Leo. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. So let's get your Moonology card for February 11th for my Virgos. All right, Virgo. We have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. That's why I feel this person, whatever adjustment is required, they want you to focus on them. That's the adjustment. This person, this King of Wands, they feel like you are focused on them a little bit, but they want your full undivided attention. That's what I feel like the required adjustment is here. Getting to know each other on a deeper level and really focusing on this person and really focusing on what they have to offer. They know what they have to offer, but they want you to see it. They're not just going to sit there and give, 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 give. 
they want you virgo to also reciprocate their energy so that's what i have here for you virgo thank you for being here and thank you for watching and i'll see and talk to y'all very very soon and next up is libra hello my beautiful libras and welcome to your february 11th love tarot reading so let's see for Libra. Let's get a romance angel for Libra. I do not take new, I don't take flyers, but I'm going to tell you that was new love that just came out. So I don't know if any of y'all dealing with new love. Let's see if it'll come out regularly. And we have trust. Okay. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So trusting in the process of things, having faith in yourself and spirit as well. Hot card, that card here. Came out a couple times already. So spirit for February 11th for Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. For Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for February 11th in their love lives. What is this Aquarius new moon bringing my Libras? Alright, here we go, Libra. You have the Page of Pentacles. Absolutely could be new love. We also have the Star and the Three of Wands. Okay, so there is an energy of receiving wish fulfillment. Page of Pentacles, the Star, possibly apologies, possibly somebody wanting to restart. Or this could be absolutely a new person and you've been wishing for this. You've been hoping for this and you've been extremely waiting for this with the Three of Wands. So Libra, you've been waiting for wish fulfillment. You've been waiting for your dream to come true. You've been waiting for this person to finally offer you something. You've been waiting for this apology. You've been waiting for this new person. You've been waiting for this past person. Whoever the case may be, you've been waiting for wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying to have patience because this energy will come. But there's a, since the star and the three of wands came out like this, I do feel like there's still more waiting to this. But you must trust and you must have hope. For others of you, Libra, you must turn away from somebody to embrace your wish fulfillment. For some of you, Libras, you must turn away from somebody that you may have been waiting for to fully embrace your wish fulfillment, dream come true, whatever the case may be. But you could be dealing with an Aquarius specifically. Page of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with that Three of Wands. But your wish is coming, Libra. You just have to trust the process, be patient, and have hope. That's a big thing. So here we go, Libra. Let's get your Moonology card for February 11th for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. And we have Expect Powerful Change, New Moon Eclipse. Yes, because Spirit is saying, Libra, you've been waiting. I'm going to bring you your wish fulfillment. We are also having a new moon in Aquarius and you have the star. So very, very high possibility that this new moon energy is bringing your wish. Just be patient, Aqua um, be patient, Libra. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. We do have Aquarius here, but... That's what I have here for you, Libra. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next is we have my beautiful Scorpios. Hello, Scorpio. Spirit for Scorpio for February 11th in their love lives. What's coming through for Scorpio? What is this new moon in Aquarius bringing my beautiful Scorpios in their love lives? All right, Scorpio, we have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right, I don't like the little sentence down there. For some of you, you could be meeting them right now. For a lot of you, though, yes, like 90% of you, you have already met them. This could be the one. So let's see, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming through for Scorpio for February 11th in their love lives. What energy is coming towards Scorpio 
in their love lives for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Scorpio. You have the Tower, the Three of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. All right. So there is a shocking reconciliation coming or there is some sort of shocking energy of you coming together with your person like never before. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles. If you are in a relationship, this absolutely could be you and your person creating this beautiful harmony together, coming together on this wonderful emotional state and really working together as a team opposed to working against each other. Beautiful compromise as well. So if there has been some sort of rocky waters with you and your person, absolutely beautiful compromising energy. I really like this. For others of you Scorpios, there could be a very shocking reconciliation energy. Somebody returning from your past. Possibly somebody wanting to work together with you now. Could be somebody that friend zoned you just coming around saying, hey Scorpio... You may be the one that got away. What happened here? But there's definitely an energy around just this shocking energy of really finding harmony with your person. You do have two threes here. So three, three could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a fellow Scorpio. Could be a Cancer or a Pisces. But let's clarify this tower here for you, Scorpio. Why is the tower here for Scorpio? For February 11th, the Two of Wands. Wow. So, Scorpio, somebody is choosing you here. Somebody is shockingly choosing you. I feel like you are not expecting this person to choose you. I feel like you are not expecting you and your person to make this beautiful progress into a new future together. For a lot of you Scorpios, if you are in a relationship, you and your person are letting go of the past and coming to this beautiful harmony together. And it's like shocking. You never thought that this person would ever let go of their past. You never thought you would let go of your past. And now all of a sudden you two are finding it within you to do that. Other of you Scorpio, somebody making a choice to choose you. They're coming around and you you don't anticipate this you don't see this coming so this person can absolutely be somebody that you are interested in so let's get your moonology card here for scorpio sun moon rising venus sign spirit for my beautiful scorpios and their love lives for february 11 and we have what do you need to release that's what i've been saying there you go you and your person releasing the past and literally coming to this beautiful loving energy of really coming together as a team with each other. For others of you, somebody that you have released may be coming back around. You actually may say, no thanks. You, you let go of me once. That was your fault. Mm, some of you Scorpios may not really let this person in. You may already be interested in somebody else. And it may be a little bit too little too late. But for others of you Scorpios, you may actually have to release the grudge you have to this person. And look towards the future of possibly maybe what could come from this relationship. So, that's what I got for you Scorpio. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. And next up is Sagittarius's. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your February 11th Love Tarot reading. What's going on for Sag Spirit in their love lives? What is this new moon in Aquarius bringing to my Sagittarius is in their love lives? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Sag, you have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the greatest, the highest energy of all. All right. So you may have been very protective of yourself, Sagittarius. Very cautious. Who do you let in? Who do you let into your heart? Who do you let see that loving side of yourself, right? And Spirit is saying it is safe for you to open up. So let's see what the tarot has for my beautiful Sagittarius's. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
in their love lives. I do not take flyers. That was a four of pentacles, not opening up. So let's see. All right, Sag, you have the four of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the queen of wands. Okay, Sagittarius. So somebody looks very interested in coupling with you here. Four of Wands, they want joy, they want stability, they want happiness with you. You may meet somebody through friends or at a ceremony or something like that. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they see potential in you. Sorry, the train's very loud. They feel like this can go somewhere. I kind of feel like Sagittarius, this could be you, the Knight of Pentacles. You may be feeling a little bit cautious, opening up, not really sure if it's safe for you to show your true, authentic self. Queen of Wands coming through. You're looking good, Sagittarius, and everybody sees it. And they want to offer you things, and it's all up to you if you want to open up to this. Because you can sit on your throne forever and just have all of these suitors come your way and never get up, right? But this is your moment, Sagittarius, to say, like, who do I want to open up to? Who do I want to have this loving energy with? Because there is absolutely somebody around you that feels this way about you. For others of you Sagittariuses, I do want to say that you may have been in a relationship or are in a relationship where the progress is moving quite slow. And it may have been deteriorating your confidence. But I do feel like whoever you're connecting with, they are interested in you. They really do want this happiness with you. This joy, this stability, this harmony. And for some of you Sagittarius, is find your confidence no matter what. Whatever this person's doing, let them do whatever they're doing. And give them the time that they need. And you sit in your beautiful power and you will attract what is for you. Who is for you and what is meant for you. So, Sagittarius, a lot of messages here, but very strongly around you have somebody interested in you. And if you don't, you probably will have soon. And it's all up to you of who you want to let in. So... Get yourself out there, especially with this Queen of Wands energy. That's the energy of getting yourself out there. And you will be seen. So, let's get your Moonology card here, Sagittarius, for February 11th in your love life for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Could be dealing with a fire sign specifically. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we have You Are Good Enough. Full moon in Virgo. All right, some of you may have a Virgo moon or Virgo energy involved somewhere. That's what I'm saying, Sagittarius. If you don't get out there and if you just continue to talk down on yourself, how can you attract someone? Right? If you let this slow as molasses night make you to feel like you're not good enough, Change that energy. Sit in your power and watch how things change for you. So Sagittarius, you are good enough and it is safe for you to open up. But for a lot of my single Sagittarius, you just got to get out there. You're not showing anybody who you are. So how can you expect people to come towards you? First, in relationship Sagittarius, is this person being a little bit slow to commit or whatever your caution to commit as well. Don't let that make you feel like you're not good enough for a relationship because you are. And don't let your past make you feel any sort of way about who you are today, Sagittarius. So that's what I got for my beautiful Sagittariuses. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And next up is Capricorn. Hello, Capricorn. Let's get your reading for February 11th in your love life sphere for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. What energy is coming through for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Okay, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, so... Forgiving your past, learning from it, and moving on. A lot of you Capricorns may have to do this to embrace a new connection. 
if you're single, single, single. For others of you Capricorns, this could be an energy of somebody wanting for you to forgive them. For others of you Capricorns, it may be very hard to let go of what other people have done to you in the past. And then in, in turn, it may be very difficult for you to let people into your heart. So let's get your tarot out. For others of you Capricorns, if you are in a connection, relationship, whatever the case may be, forgiving each other, learning from each other will absolutely be beneficial to this relationship. Not giving up on this relationship just because there are some bumps in the road, you know? So let's see Capricorn. If I called you Sagittarius, sorry. I literally just did theirs. Okay, so we have the sun, the king of pentacles, and the six of pentacles. So we could be dealing with a Leo with the sun. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But Capricorn, you look so focused on work. So focused. And somebody sees a lot of happiness in you. Somebody sees you as... Somebody that can bring them a lot of happiness in their love life. But with the sun, this person also wants clarity of where they stand with you. With the six of pentacles, this person wants equal give and take. This person does not want the bare minimum from you. You do not want the bare minimum from them. So this is all about equal give and take, giving and receiving. But there's a big focus around work. Capricorn, if you are very structured and very into your work, I feel like whoever is trying to connect with you, they feel like it's very difficult to read you. They want clarity. They want truth. They want to know where they stand with you, Capricorn. And it's kind of difficult for them to know. This could be totally vice versa, Capricorn. You may want to know where you stand with somebody else. You may find it very hard to read them. But there is an energy around reciprocation. Truly reciprocating each other's energy. I do feel like this person sees you as somebody that could be permanent for them in their life. But I do feel like there's this energy around really a lot of happiness, but also needing to speak your truth. Releasing and healing the past. And truly finding happiness in this moment right here so a lot of you Capricorns may have to just release what no longer serves you from your past and truly create balance with this person maybe this person's doing this they're learning from their past so let's see who is coming through for Capricorn in the Moonology deck so Capricorn let's see what Moonology card comes out towards you so this new moon in Aquarius is bringing you a lot more balance in your love life you're forgiving, you're learning, you're healing with your person, and you two are coming to a beautiful reciprocated energy. So let's see Capricorn. Work may be involved. You could work with this person, or like I said, one or both of you works a lot. So we have, oh, believe in the impossible blue moon. Wow, Capricorn. So this is believing in love again because Capricorn for a lot of you this is you who's going through this forgiving and learning process for others of you Capricorn it's them for others others of you Capricorns it's both of you forgiving and learning releasing and healing the past together believe in the impossible believe you will find somebody that's committing to you believe you will find somebody who wants balance with you because you are receiving somebody who wants a lot of balance with you a lot of happiness with you and very strong commitment as well so whatever you thought was impossible think again blue moon there you go, Capricorn. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Aquarius. Happy birthday to all my Aquarius out there. Aquarius, you have a new moon on February 11th. So let's see how this new moon energy is working for your love life. So Spirit for Aquarius for February 11th. Let's get a moonology. I mean, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying that? Let's get a romance angel for Aquarius. For February 11th in their love lives. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Alright Aquarius, you have let go of control issues. L allow this situation to unfold naturally. 
All right, Aquarius, so you may be very um, feeling the need to be in control, right? You may want things to go your way. The Spirit is indicating allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't hold on too tight. Don't try to control it too much and just see what's going to happen. For others of you Aquariuses, you could be dealing with somebody who likes to control the relationship. So let's see. For Aquarius for February 11th in their love lives for my beautiful Aquariuses. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Aquarius, you look like you're really in your head here. Eight of Swords. You're, you're feeling a bit hopeless right now, or you're feeling a little bit helpless. You don't really know what to do. You don't know which way to go. I do feel like Aquarius... I feel like somebody is interested in you. I do feel like somebody may be offering you commitment here with this Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Swords is... Ah, Alright, we're going to clarify it. We're just going to do it. It's your birthday season, so let's do it. Spirit, please clarify this for Aquarius. Somebody cause, somebody's causing you to be in your head. Something's causing you to be in your head. What is it? The Ace of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Moon. All right, so we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, could have been a third-party energy. If that's not the case, then somebody may care about what sisters, mothers think. Father, could even be. But somebody's offering you something here. There is a solid offer coming your way, Aquarius, but you don't believe it's... You don't believe it's genuine? Yeah. You're really in your head about taking this offer. You feel like there are hidden emotions here. You feel like things are hidden from you with the moon. Or you just fear the unknown. Aquarius is kind of like, what happens if I do take this offer? What will happen next? I don't know. And it's like Aquarius is like, I don't even want to know. You're really in some fear of the unknown. But somebody's offering you something real possibly commitment here and you're really in your head about how this is gonna go what's going to happen from this I feel like somebody turned you cold here king of swords queen of swords a lot of energy of being independent or feeling detached emotionally but I do feel like there's somebody very interested in committing to you I feel like Aquarius this may have been somebody who hurt you in your past that's why you have eight of swords here or you may just not, you may just, it may just be very hard for you, for you to believe that this person wants commitment with you. But honestly, Aquarius, you have an offer coming. I do feel like you're in a, your head about it, but I do feel like you'll hear this person out. But your fears of the unknown may take over here. But a lot of you are just kind of like, and detach mode. You know, really let go of the control issues. Let go of your mind, if you could. Aquarius, you may be thinking a lot, having a lot of overthinking thoughts here. Feeling very tracked by, tracked by your own thoughts. But an offer's here. So let's see, Aquarius, what's your Moonology card? For Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Pisces with the moon coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So let's see what's coming through in the Moonology. Luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. All right. Could be dealing with a Sag, somebody with Sag in their chart. But luck is on your side nonetheless. Aquarius, it may not look like there is, but there is. There's a lot of luck. And you are in the power position right now. And I feel like a lot of you Aquarius is, you know you're in the power position. And if you don't know, you will know because you're going to cut out of this Eight of Swords. You're gonna find it within you to cut out of that negative thought process and really make a decision on this offer. So, woo, that's what I got for you Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. And last but very much not least, my fellow Pisces. Hello, Pisces. 
Let's get your February 11th reading in your for your love life. See how what is the Aquarius new moon bringing towards my Pisces in their love lives. So spirit for Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs for Pisces. All right, Pisces, you have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning into your life. Okay, so Pisces, reconciliation to me is a very broad term. So it could be absolutely somebody from your past. For most of you, it probably is. For others of you, Pisces, this could be you and your person reconciling on a much better level. So maybe you have felt distant from your person. Maybe you have been feeling the disconnect from your person recently and you're just waiting for this beautiful reconciliation energy where you two come back together in harmony, in love. There may have not been any physical distance, but there may be some emotional distance, some loving distance that now is coming back together for more loving energy. For others of you Pisces, absolutely somebody from your past trying to make their way back in. So let's see what is going on here for Pisces. For February 11th in their love lives for my beautiful Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Pisces. In their love lives for my beautiful Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. All right, Pisces, let's see what's coming through for you. We have the Three of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Cups. Woo, Pisces. You've been waiting for this. Some of you, Pisces, have been waiting for this reconciliation for a while. For others of you, Pisces, like I said, there's been emotional distance. There's your emotion. There's your Ace of Cups. Could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Leo, an Aquarius. Why did I say Aquarius? There is no Aquarius energy out here, but you may be. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. There you go. So, whatever you've been waiting for, Pisces, is coming. Could actually be moving to a higher level of commitment with your person. Maybe you've been waiting for some I love yous, right? Maybe you've been waiting to know how your person feels. Maybe this is what the reconciliation is about, right? Coming back together in beautiful harmony, commitment as well, reaching a higher level of commitment or just committing to each other. But you do have a new love offer coming your way. Ace of Cups, new love offer. Could be from your person, could be from a past person. You could actually be coming to reconciliation with somebody that you've never met before and you're two like souls reconciling on this earth. Don't be in my comments telling me reconciliation is only from your past. No, it's not. The reconciliation is an extremely broad term. So... For a lot of you Pisces, it's somebody from your past. For others of you Pisces, if you are in a connection already, I definitely feel like y'all are leveling up. Definitely reaching higher levels of commitment here. Abundance with this Hierophant and a beautiful love offer. Maybe some I love yous. For others of you Pisces, could be meeting new love after you turn your back on the past. For some of you Pisces, like I said, this could be a new loving connection that is very spiritually guided. Hence... The past life connection, a reconciliation of two like souls that are reconciling on this, in this lifetime now, where y'all haven't yet. I don't know if that makes sense to some of you, but if you don't want new love, then just or don't listen to that message. So let's see. Your Moonology card, Pisces. Beautiful reading. Let's see what's coming through for you. With this Three of Wands, you definitely could have been waiting for this for quite some time. So let's see for Pisces. Let's get a Moonology card for February 11th in their love lives. All right. So Pisces, you have, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Yup. 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 Release all negative aspects that you have. Three of wands. Turn your back on what no longer serves you. All of your fears, all of your doubts, all of your trust issues, all of your abandonment issues. Because once you release negativity, 
Spirit has clearance to bless you. And that's exactly what's happening. Could have some Scorpio energy involved. They could have it in their chart. You could have it in your chart. Let's get one more Moonology card for you, Pisces. Just because I feel like it. Spirit, can I please have one more Moonology for Pisces? Thank you. And we have adjustments are required. Ooh, they on it. They are on it. It's time to release negativity. Adjustments are required. The adjustments that are required is to release fears, doubts, abandonment issues, self-worth issues, all that and the nine yards. So thank you for being here, Pisces. Thank you for all of you for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there. Please do not forget to like this video. And if you want to book private with me, in the description box below, you can send me an email and we'll book you right in. Have a beautiful, happy um, new moon in Aquarius. And don't forget to check out my manifestation series. It is linked in the description box below. And I'll see and talk to everyone very, very soon. Bye now.